Congratulations, you've made it to the very last module of this course. This is a very short module, but it's a couple things that you'll need to know to fully utilize all the tools that I used into creating Raptux Escape. Now, I can't just leave you all hanging with a, oh, well, particles are in this game. You never showed me anything about that. That would not be fair. So I'm going to show you a very basic introduction to particles that you can take this concept and uh, do everything I've done within the game. And for the particles we're going to be using here, we're going to create like a cloud-like effect on particles when we walk over this plate. So it's going to poof smoke clouds up everywhere. It looks really cool. So let's get started on this here. So particles are huge. There's so much that can be covered. I could spend hours talking about it and honestly, I don't even know much about them yet. But uh, let's just get started on what I do know that I can kickstart you guys to uh, learning yourself. So let's create an empty game object here. Create empty. I'm going to call this one PFX particle effects underscore cloud. Bam. And now let's give this, uh, let's, let's tag it. Green. That's cool. And let's move this over. Uh, where are you, particle? Particle, <laughs> particle effects. All right, I'm gonna move this to where I want my particles to come from here. So there we go. I want them to show up there. But you know what? I'm actually gonna start them over here so we can clearly see what's going on, and then I'll reposition them. All right, so here we are. We have our particle effects, and now we just need to add a particle system to it. So let's add component. Let's just go particle system. Cool. So now we can see the default particle spawning from this thing. Now that's pretty cool, but that's not uh, really close to what we are doing in this one. So um, let's, uh, yeah, let's start working on creating these into what we want for this game. All right, so we're thinking smoke clouds and um, we don't want them to loop forever. So I'm just gonna quickly turn off looping. Okay, and then to control your playback, you can just stop and then simulate. And then that'll just simulate all your settings that you have here for your particles. A cool little thing here. So before we get into any deeper, let's create our material that we want to use for these particles. So to use our cloud artwork that I've provided for you, we're going to have to import that into our game. So let's go to our game art and let's import our smoke clouds that I've given you for your particles. So I'm going to open up that folder just by dragging this over so you can see what's going on here. In the artwork folder of the assets that I've provided you, there's a PFX smoke PSD. Just drag that in here into your artwork folder. And it's just a fun little image here. Now we want to use this as a texture. So we're going to go into our inspector and adjust some settings here. So we're not going to be using this as a sprite. We're going to be using this as a texture. So let's set the texture type to texture. Uh, simple as that. And uh, alpha we want to use from transparency because there is a built-in alpha in this graphic. And uh, what do we want to do? We want to compress it. Let's compress it down to 512 as it's just a small particle, right? It doesn't have to be super, super high def. And let's apply this. And there's our texture all set up and ready to go here. Now let's apply this new material to our particles. Okay, so let's select PFX Cloud. And now let's go down to the bottom here. And what we have is we're seeing we have our default particle and uh, right now it's rendering that material, our default particle. So we need to actually go ahead and create a brand new material in our uh, game art folder here and we can replace that default material with that. So let's go create, let's say material and I'm going to call this one um, pfx underscore cloud, just like so. Alrighty, and now let's drag this to our texture so now our texture is set up with that cloud on this material. Okay, so let's go to our PFX cloud and let's go like so. Let's go PFX cloud. Let's drag, oh, sorry, no, we need to select here. And now we can select our PFX cloud object to uh, replace that material. Perfect. So now we have this and let's just go like this. Simulate. So now we see our textures there, but it's not quite as we wish. Um, okay, so how do we fix this? So right off the bat, I can see that um, this material that we created uh, looked wonky. So uh, we have this selected, and as we can see, our shader type is diffuse, which is the problem. So this new material, we need to change the shader type to be, um, let's go down to, what are we creating? We're creating particles. So let's go, uh, let's just try additive for a sec. Oh, that looks pretty awesome. There we go, we have that transparency built right in there now and it's looking great. So let's go back to our PFX cloud and now we can see this is great. We have our clouds all reacting and beautiful. 
All right, so I have some notes on the settings that I've done just by messing around here. So I'm gonna set my duration to one as I want to be a short burst. And let's go start lifetime. I had it set to one, start speed, one. I don't want it to be flying around too much. Gravity multiplier. Now this one here, I'm just gonna set to minus 0 0.3, which is just gonna make gravity push them down just the slightest, slightest bit. And uh, let's go down here, play on awake. Mm, no, uh, max particles, it's set to a thousand. I only want 10, because these are gonna be big clouds. I don't need a thousand of them. That's just gonna use up too much memory. Uh, let's go down to emission. Emission rate, I'm just gonna set to seven, less than 10, I don't need all of those. And uh, let's go to down here. There's a ton of stuff, and uh, it would take me hours to go through it all. So I'm just showing you what I've done. Size over lifetime, I want to, to activate. And uh, what I've done here is I'm just gonna play with the, this thing here. Uh, let's go like this, add some points, and do a little bit of a dippage. So it's gonna start out small particles when they're first born, and then it's gonna scale itself up in the middle of its life, and then dip back down again at the very end. So let's just go a little bit, play. I'm just playing around. We can adjust all these in a sec here, okay? Uh, size over lifetime and rotation by speed. So let's go like this and let's activate this. And my rotation by speed, angular, I want them to rotate 180 degrees. And uh, I want my speed range to be uh, from one to three. So it can either be, uh, it'll start at uh, one and it'll rotate a little bit. And then when the speed is at its maximum, it'll rotate a ton more. And the last, the very last thing I want is the start size of this. So let's go to do, 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 start rotation, start size. I wanna say 1.7. And that's, okay, I've done a ton of little adjustments there and let's just see what this looks like. That's pretty cool. I can deal with that. All right, so there's a, uh, there you have it. There, you, you guys can play and play and play with that, but uh, I'm just gonna do this for quickness here. And now, as you can see, we have an issue. Simulating, but the layer that these are rendering on is below our props. It's not in the foreground here, so it's not really uh, working out too well. We can't see it. It's covered up by everything else in our environment. So we're gonna learn how to do a script to trigger this to actually play, and we're gonna be able to script it to put on any render layer that we currently have within our game. Let's move on to a quick little script here and get this working. So this trip plate here is detecting on our game state script already when our player walks into it and that kind of triggers all this crazy stuff to happen. So let's go to our game state script here and let's carry on with this. So I'm gonna create uh, this functionality within this script here. So we need to, first off, we need to create a variable that's gonna hold our particle system for our cloud. So I'm gonna just say PFX, and I'm just gonna create a variable here. Let's go public. So I can just drag and drop particle system. And I'm gonna name it PFX cloud, like so, and save this out, and I'm going to assign it. So let's go to our game state here. And uh, particle system, we have nothing assigned to it, but we can go here, select our PFX cloud. Bam, we've got our access. Cool, cool, cool. Let's open this back up here. So now let's move down to see in our script where we already have it, where uh, we figure out when our player actually uh, interacts with this. I'm going to start up here. I'm just gonna say, play our particles, um, smoke clouds. Alrighty, so now let's see how we can do this. So we created that variable, pfx cloud. All right, that's storing our particle system. So now, first, before we even spawn these things, I wanna set the render layer of these to be in our uh, props layer, which is kind of in our foreground, uh, so they actually appear above the rest of our uh, props. So let's go like this, dot render, okay? And then let's say, uh, this is grabbing the render components, let's say sorting layer, sorting layer name, all right? And then let's grab, uh, what layer do we want? We want this to be on our props layer easy to do and super useful. I'm really glad that they actually incorporated that, that that's possible to do. 
Um, so yeah, basically we've just taken whatever object this is spawning and we're manually setting the render layer. So like uh, in our character, let's go to wrap to character, sprite player, any sprite render, we're just setting the sorting layer just here. This is great. Okay, so let's go to our game state and open up that uh, game state script again and carry on. Okay, so we've set our sorting layer right off the bat and now the function we need to use to play back these particles. And this is super easy. All we do is we call our variable PFX cloud and then we just hit play. Simple. I'm just gonna comment this out, say set sorting layer and PFX cloud, we're just gonna say uh, play back particles. Save. All right, let's close this off. I'm just gonna clean this up here. Keep game state open, save, quit. I'm feeling good about what we got going on here. So let's test this thing out here. Let's hit play. What have we done? All right, look at that. That's just adding a whole nother level to the game too. Look at this, that's great. So every time we uh, walk into this here, we're gonna see some smoke clouds. It just adds fun when you're walking around. That's awesome. All right, simple as that. So let's uh, close that off. We are good to go here. So, wow, look, look at what we've done. We've built an entire game. We've programmed, we've added audio, added in our own art, everything. You guys have done so much. Now it's uh, time for you. I bet you're itching to just share this with the world. Um, now, how do you do that? You don't want all your friends to have to install Unity, open up all your source files, and hope everything works for them. No, we want to build it so we can just send them a simple file that they can play on their own computer or web browser or anything, and uh, they can play back all the games that you learned to create for yourself. So I am uh, super excited to say we have one more lesson left in this course, and it's going to be um, how to build your game into one final file to play back. Now I remember when I first finished my game and I was building it for the first time to play back. It just felt great. So I want to share that feeling with you all in the next lesson. I'll see you there.